little wool mart haul that I've got for myself um, for basically with a focus on staying healthy and fit and building muscle while on board. So this is going to be for all of you guys who are going to be getting on board and want to know what I kind of get just to, you know, try and build muscle while on board and keep healthy and fit and in the gym. So the first thing that I got is, I know the, the box is a bit broken, but we'll just take one out. So it is this, it is Equate, um, I don't know if you guys can see, meal replacements. So this is like a chocolate milk, pretty much. It's uh, 300 moles. Um, and it's not bad. So it's 190 calories. Um, but it's got 10 grams of protein in it. And it's basically like a mass gainer almost. Obviously a little bit less protein than a mass gainer would be. But um, these, this was um, $16 for 12. So not too bad. Uh, just over a dollar a container. Um, this is going to be mainly for... You know, when, when you don't want to eat what's in the mess and you just want to have something, come back to your cab and have something, at least you can have this 190 calories. So it is a bit a bit heavy on the calories, but 10 grams of protein isn't too bad. And then to pair with it, we've got a whole bunch of protein snacks. So we've got these protein bars from Gatorade. All right, these are the peanut butter chocolate protein bars. Um, these were, I think, about ten dollars. Um, they are quite heavy in calories; they're about three hundred and sixty calories. But they've got twenty grams of protein in them. And again, this would probably be paired with the shake. Um, and then you know you're getting thirty grams of protein in, and roughly about four hundred ish calories, four hundred, five hundred calories around there for a lunch. Um, so yeah, these are the Nature Valley's um, bars, protein bars. Um, these were 10 grams of protein in each bar um, and I got the salted caramel nut and the peanut butter dark chocolate again these are going to be more for snacking um, also because I do tend to enjoy a dessert after dinner um, and these were a better option than going and eating bread pudding and creme brulee every night so these aren't going to be treated as meal replacements these are going to more be used as a dessert supplement so instead of going for dessert, I can come back to my cabin, have one of these. And these were really cheap. I think these were like $3 for uh, five of them. So about $6, $6 $7 for 10 bars. Um, again, this is going to be a very, very trial and error thing um, to see if it works. Uh, 200 calories per serving. So a bit heavy on the calories. But, you know, I think it's better than having... The dessert that is offered in Ocean View Cafe because I go absolutely mental on dessert. So at least this way I can track what I'm putting in and uh, hopefully be a bit better. So the next thing that we got is bam, ba, dam, a a funnel. Okay. So I know you guys are going to laugh at me and say why did I get a funnel, especially after you guys watched the Walmart video from last time because you guys saw that I bought this weird and wonderful thing. Now, the problem is, <sighs> protein, when you use a protein, when you put protein in this, you have to wash it out really, really thoroughly. Otherwise, the bottle will start to smell. And this was becoming a really, really big annoyance in my life, um, because like I would wash it out, but it wouldn't be thorough. So then I'd have to like every three or four days I'd use like an ethanol what like cleaner to clean it out properly and all of that. So this is not going to be used for protein anymore. What I'm actually going to do is use these bottles. So this is the water that we buy on board. And with the funnel, pop the funnel in, put my protein in, close the cap, shake it up. Um, and it'll work just as well because the protein powder that I'm going to show you guys that I use shakes really really easily I don't need the shaker so I can put it in this close it and obviously I don't use the full bottle um, I'll use about that much about 200 moles so there's a lot of space for it to like shake around and mix properly and it mixes really really well so uh, yeah I'm going to use the funnel and these and then just throw these bottles away because that's so much easier than cleaning out the shaker every day pretty much the next thing that we got is the creatine monohydrate 
So this is by Essentials. Um, I did some research online. Obviously, I'm not spoiled for choice when it comes to buying protein, buying anything really. Um, there's one Walmart that we have that was is pretty much the only place we can go to to get this kind of stuff. So yeah, I went with the Essentials uh, Creatine Monohydrate. Um, 50 servings. I think this was about 20, 22 dollars. Um, so not bad. Obviously, I, I went to the monohydrate. I didn't do like um, I can't remember what they call it. If you remember what they, I, it's just not on my mind. But where people will use it before they go on to monohydrate to basically just put a whole lot of creatine in their body, like loading. Um, it's called creatine load. There we go. I didn't do a creatine load because I'm just going to do monohydrate. I'm not going to load it. I'm not going to do the 20, 20 grams for the first five days to load your body. I'm just going to go with standard five grams per serving. Um, probably mix this into my protein. And uh, yeah, creatine monohydrate. Um, I haven't been on it for the last three months. Um, but I've finally been consistent enough in the gym to where I feel like I can go back onto creatine because I've been using creatine since I started gymming in 2017. Um, and it's really good. I just didn't want to go on it too early. I wanted to make sure that I could stick to some sort of gym schedule, stick to some sort of routine with gym before I start hopping onto creatine and protein again and all of that weird and wonderful stuff that really has, really does help. So creatine monohydrate uh, by Essentials. This is the micronized creatine monohydrate. There we go, that's the one. All right, now the next thing, the final thing, the big boy, and that is protein powder. This is the same, exact same protein powder that I got in the last Walmart haul, if you guys watched that one. This is the Diametize um, ISO 100. I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. Um, it tastes amazing, which for a protein powder is actually very hard to find one that tastes really good, mixes really well, and, you know, doesn't make me feel like I want to throw up. So, yeah, this is the Cocoa Pebbles, the same one I got last time. I really do enjoy it. Um, and again, this is 20 servings. This was about 35 $38, somewhere like that. 120 calories, 20 grams of protein. And this is a uh, whey protein. So, really, really good. Um, so, yeah, that is, that is pretty much it. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting another one of these. And... Yeah, probably just another one of these and maybe more of the Nature Valley protein bars and Gatorade protein bars. Um, now, before you guys all run to the comments to roast me, unfortunately, I can't get the extremely good stuff because I know you guys are going to probably start saying that the Gatorade protein is high in sugar or the Nature Valley is high in sugar or whatever it may be. Um, unfortunately, you know, I'm not spoiled for choice. I can't go and get the absolute best of the best for a few reasons. The first being that, you know, obviously cost has to play accounts into what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, I will probably end up having these quite a lot because um, on C days I normally skip lunch and, you know, the dessert place is a terrible place to be. So unfortunately I'm not spoiled for choice. I can't, you know, go to all the shops. The only place that we had on this Alaska route has been Walmart. Um, and I think it's going to be the same issue when we go down to the Caribbean. There is a Walmart there and I'm probably going to end up getting the same stuff. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't have the best of the best. We've just got to make do with what we do have. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much what, I'm, what I got to help me stay fit, help me get back into shape. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I know this one was something different, but... This is going to be mainly for you guys who are worried about gymming while on board. Now, while we're doing this video, I'm just going to tell you guys about gymming on board, what it's like, all of that great stuff. So, you can find time to gym. Everybody can. Um, and you, the, the one of the questions I would probably get is, can you use the crew, the passenger gym? The answer to that is, it depends on your rank. Um, unfortunately, if you're less than one stripe so if you're not an officer um, you cannot use the passenger gym the passenger gym is only for officers now for me i'm allowed to use the passenger gym i'm one and a half stripes so i can go into the passenger gym um, 
I don't really use a passenger gym. I prefer to go to the crew gym because the crew gym has the Smith machine, whereas the passenger gym doesn't. The crew gym has cables, the passenger gym doesn't. Um, but I do do cardio in the passenger gym. So, yeah. The next thing is protein intake, protein intake, protein intake. That is probably the most important thing when it comes to building muscle and losing fat is your protein needs to be high and your calories need to be low. Now, unfortunately, with being on board, you cannot track any of that. Um, you can guess to the best of your ability, but you cannot track any of that. So, you know, yeah, it is possible to build muscle. I've seen people do it on board. Um, and if you're going to come on board and your goal is to build muscle, lose fat, get into shape, you can do it. You just have to be very, very selective of what you eat. And as well as that, I think your self-control has to be really good because it's not like on land where you can just say, I'm on a diet, so I'm not buying anything that is high in sugar, high in calories, all of that stuff on board. The dessert table is going to be there with breakfast, oh, no. well, breakfast, there'll be pancakes, but lunch and dinner, the dessert table will be there and you've got to have the ability to walk past it every day, even though there's creme brulee, there, there's chocolate mousse, there's ice cream at every meal, there's all of that great stuff. You've got to have the ability to say, nope, I'm not having that today. I'm good. So, yeah, it is possible for all of you guys who are wondering. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you guys want to see more gym content, let me know. But, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys did all enjoy the video. As usual, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys all. I love it later. Peace.